just really felt like, yo, how the fuck I'm gonna get up? Like, how's it gonna happen? Like, how am I ever, like, you know, move out or have my own? Like, how am I ever gonna get things that I deserve and that I want? Like, how? Like, I just, it didn't seem real. It didn't seem possible at all. So how did I run up a bag, right? You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. It's Jay. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. Today's video, you guys, is gonna be very different. Something that. I haven't done before, but I want to say one day, I'm not going to say I was in a mood, but I was definitely in my thoughts. And I did some ranting on my Instagram story and I also posted on my YouTube story. So this video was definitely inspired from Brianna Nicole and also myself. So thank you so much. But your comment that you left, and I'm actually going to read it. I've never been asked no question like this before. And I love the way that you worded it. Because I get all the time, you know, Jay, how you doing? How you been? But this question was definitely different. And um, so let me just read the question. Oh, disclaimer, before we even get into this video, this video is not to bash anyone. It is not to discredit anyone. It is not, it is not, it is not, it is not. I am not talking bad on no one in this video. I just wanna let you know from myself and maybe a message to yourself that you are entitled to your come up story. Anything that you've been through through your life, I don't know how. Anything that is a part of my journey, anything that's a part of my life, anything, I'm entitled to it. I'm not here to bash anyone, so I just want to say that. Please make sure you are subscribed, like, comment, share my content, comment down below, like the video, you know what I mean. Let's get into it. So Brianna Nicole, she had commented on my 27th birthday vlog. How does it feel after going through so much in life and on social media to get here and find someone that loves you for you and also compliments you with their greatness? I can cry watching someone experience the love I pray for. And it's kind of crazy because I think I had started to get in my thoughts before I read your comment and I am a strong believer of everything happens for a reason. I'm a strong believer of that. Before I get into this video even more, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my past, not too much, like briefly about my past. I'm gonna talk about, you know, what's going on right now. And all of this is gonna stem from my breakup. So let's just let's just start. Let's just let's just start. So I got out of a five year relationship and that's including, you know, the friend stage. Is that including the friend stage? I don't know. Let me think about it. No. I was in a five year relationship. I had met this woman. I met this woman when I was nineteen years old at the end of twenty thirteen and after a year of us knowing each other, we got into a relationship, you know. A lot of you guys know me from when I did a YouTube channel with her. And a lot of you guys had discovered me on your own. Whatever the case may be. We're gonna fast forward a little bit. So, 2019, June, I went through a very public breakup for the second time. This wasn't the first time, you guys. This was the second time. What the difference was, I was mentally stronger to handle the breakup. Also, I had a plan for myself because when I went through this the first time, and I'm so glad that YouTube blocked my video. I can actually see it on my end, but you guys cannot see it at all on your end. And I'm so thankful for that because everything happens for a reason. But the first time we broke up and I do the whole traditional, this is why we broke up video. Oh my God, I was a mess. I was a mess. I looked a mess, I was a mess, and baby, I was a mess. I was very lost. You know, we got back together, whatever the case may be. So fast forward, June, we broke up. I'm not gonna say I seen this coming, but I definitely was very aware of that we was not in a good place. And usually when we're not in a good place, I go get away because I feel like we need some time away. I was very horrible at communicating. The communication had got so bad that it kind of was no communication. I kind of felt the distance 
between us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, the way that this video is titled, um, basically, you guys, I left a relationship with $7 to my name. Was I making money? Yes. Did I have a job? It wasn't like a clock in, clock out type of job. I was doing Instacart. Um, and still to this day I do Instacart but back then way before COVID you know because everybody had their regular jobs but I can only speak for myself I was at a point making a thousand dollars a week a thousand dollars a week max minimum anywhere between like 500 600 sometimes seven sometimes eight it just depend on how much I went out and grind or how long I stayed away and usually for me to make a thousand dollars a week I had to work from eight o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock at night when I think about the fact that dang how did I allow myself to get so low on my money it's because I was also helping you know finance a lot of stuff in the relationship no I wasn't buying the iPhones that was her thing she wanted to do the iPhone thing the Apple watch thing that would be like her gifts to me go put some stuff in my fashion over cart and she'll pay for it um, going to the mall if she got some for herself she'll see if I want anything so more like material things which I'm not a material person but it is what it is I finance a lot of other things you know within our relationship like how else will we have had the car if I wasn't making the car payments or paying the car insurance or you know we will alternate with putting the gas in there but I had the car the most so I'm, put, I'm keeping the gas in there a lot of you guys know me for doing like the cooking videos the mukbang videos I was the main person probably the only person for real for real cooking you know making our meals Cause that's just what I wanted to do and also I wasn't paying no bills because that's not what we agreed on you know she wanted to pay the bills because she was getting the bigger YouTube checks and she wanted me to not work a job to focus on my YouTube channel but I couldn't just not work the job you know what I'm saying and my YouTube monetization and the money being built up took some time so I got to a point where my YouTube check had basically pay for my car payment and that was a blessing itself because my car payment at the time was five hundred dollars and i was still also oh happy right because i'm thinking like all right bet youtube handling my car payment now all this other money that i'm making with instacart can be for other things right i'm gonna say one more thing about um the past previous to the breakup and then i'm gonna move to what's relevant to today okay so well, i'm gonna say two more things i never really clocked her pockets at all you know i knew what she was paying for what she was taking care of and whatsoever right i might let's talk about that the days that led up to the breakup you guys again i felt the distance and um she was like in one of those moods where she just felt like she needed, she needed to get away and when she went to go get away she would go hang out with her older friends so this is not the first time that she has done this neither uh, but I told myself that it was gonna be the last time that she ever did something like that again so basically she would get into these moves you know what I'm saying when she wanted to get away and of course I'm not trying to hold her hostage or keep the car we were sharing one car so you know she was like she was gonna go out and go talk to her friends and she'll be back later and later was never a time frame again I'm not clocking her I'm not like okay when you're gonna be back with the car I need you know I'm trying to make up shit I need the car I, I didn't need the car I didn't need the car I didn't I had no problems with sitting in the house I just know that we needed some time apart right so she left like 4 p.m. and didn't come back until like 6 7 a.m. and again this wasn't the first time that this has happened but I told myself that this is gonna be the last time that whole time that she was gone I said yeah this, this is the last time so anytime she did anything like that I already be planning the day ahead because I'm like okay it's a problem if you got to be gone this long if you can't even communicate to me to tell me that you're okay or you're here you're doing this you can't even check up on me like it's a problem so I will usually pack a bag to come to my dad's house and just you know spend a few days here and that's what I did so when she came home the next morning she didn't come to the bed we had a second bedroom and she had like that little small bed in there and that's where she slept so when I woke up 
that morning. Not the morning that we broke up. Yeah. Um, this story is kind of all over the place. Fuck. Okay. So prior to her leaving, you guys, I realized her mood was off. I was trying to just do anything that I could to make her feel better. So I'm like, you know, are you hungry? Because again, I was the main one feeding her. She was like, yeah, no, she's not hungry. I'm like, yeah, but you need to eat. And she's like, yeah, I know, I'm just not in the mood. So she kind of made me feel like I wasn't the problem, but I also knew deep down inside that I was the problem. So I'm like, fuck that, I'm gonna get you some sushi. At that time, I had like $32 in my account. I went to get some sushi, and by the time I walked out of there, I had $7 in my account. So I kind of like had already planned that I would eat at home. Like I didn't need to eat out because hell, I ain't had no money to be eating out. But I would at least go get her something that she can, you know, eat because she seemed as if she was about to start her day. And I don't think she really had time to wait on me to cook. So I was just trying to get her some things that she can put in her stomach. I was just trying just do, to do anything, you guys. So, you know, after she ate, she left and then she didn't come back till the next morning. So when she came back, when I woke up, I just decided to do something different and I decided to bring it upon myself to, you know, see what was up. I usually don't do that. I usually didn't do that. I usually wasn't the one that would go see what was up or, you know, start the we need to talk thing first. So I did that and oh my gosh, I regretted it. At that moment, I regretted it because it just kind of came back on me and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to my dad's. That's what that's what I said. I'll be back. I'm gonna go to my dad's. Or well, I, I mean, I even had told her where I was going. I think I just told her I was gonna be back. So another thing that kind of bothered her is like whenever I was away from her, I would just seem like the happiest person. But I don't feel like it was that. I just always like knew how to make myself happy. You know what I'm saying? So car rides are definitely my thing because music. I'm jamming. You know, I'm Instagramming myself, so I'm looking like I'm good, but you know, that's my therapy. So I get to my dad's and you know, I'm having a regular day, so what I thought, and then I get the text. That's kind of how that happened, the breakup. And when I realized that we were breaking up, you know, I just wasn't going to go for living in the same house. Cause, oh my God, when we're not on the same page, when we're having these disagreements or whatever the case may be you guys I can't eat and I feel uncomfortable and I feel like I'm walking on eggshells and I did not want to I did not want to live like that so I made a decision that I wasn't so I went to the apartment and I packed up my car got all my shit and this is how I ended up here did I think I was gonna be here going on two years later hell no but this is where the blessing comes and everything. So how did I run up a bag, right? I ran up a bag. Number one, I'm just so blessed to have somewhere to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely blessed to have such a beautiful home. Um, food always in the refrigerator. Heat, hot showers, all of that stuff, you guys. My dad don't ask me to pay not one thing while living here. But I do, you know, help him out. Whether it's... You need me to go get some butter. You need me to get some onions for the for the meal that you're cooking. You need me to go get paper towels, tissue. So I, you know, I ask him how can I contribute little by little or here and there, whatever the case may be, whenever, whatever, whatever. That's the agreement that we have. But you know, um, I'm not gonna lie. When I first got here, it, it wasn't easy because I did not have a job yet. I didn't get a job until the end of. 2019 which was a serving job and only because I felt like I had to because the YouTube checks it was handling my car payment I just and all the money that I was continuing to get from Instacart I was I was either drinking a lot because I was going through a lot or I also had to buy myself break the lease that we were staying in child that's just a whole nother story but for the first year it was very hard for me to come up on a bag to keep money in my account and i <laughs> i just really felt like yo how the fuck i'm gonna get up like how it's gonna happen like how am i ever like you know move out or have my own like how am i ever 
gonna get things that I deserve and that I want like how like I just it didn't seem real it didn't seem possible at all no matter how many times I felt like I, I had a plan no matter no matter how many times I felt like I wrote down a budget plan I tried to stick to that budget plan it wasn't working out for me or so I thought but to this day like today right now I can literally say that I'm going to be moving out of my dad's house by the end of this year. Going into the new year, things were already happening to me that spoke volumes to me. That kind of gave me the reassurance that, hey, Jay, it's going to be okay. And you're going to be okay. And everything is going to eventually work out for the better. Like, I can't explain it to you guys because it's not really for you to understand although i want you to understand but it, it was really more for me if that makes any sense but and then it, and then it happened again it didn't happen again and then it, it just it keep happening to the to the point where i'm up i'm way up you know what i'm saying i do work a nine to five job today and i love my job mm, let me take it back i like it <laughs> i like my job my job is solely dependent on me i don't have to depend on me jasmine tyrell and mike hell no okay because mike don't know how to count money and jasmine she do stuff backwards slow and backwards and tyrell don't do shit okay no i don't gotta depend on nobody but myself so when i get done with my work is when i'm done with my work and that's what i love about it so you know i'm, I'm by myself i'm riding around in the city and that's just i love to drive i love to work by myself i can work in a team environment but it's nothing like you know working at my own pace and working as hard as i want to i honestly believe the reason why i'm up today is because i stayed true to myself i stayed on track i somewhat disciplined myself a lot of things played into that you know i got really consistent with my fitness um in 2019 towards the end of 2019 i got really uh consistent with my fitness you know a whole lot made a fitness channel i got like 2,000 subscribers right now i have a fitness instagram page and all of that stuff you guys want to get back active on i just been like juggling so much i was able to start my brand um have a website actually sell merch before i moved out i wasn't I didn't have any of that like I didn't have no merch today I have merch merchandise I'm selling merch I'm just very blessed very happy so I have multiple streams of income you guys I have a hell of a support system including you guys and I'm just so thankful so if you was watching this video to maybe me tell you a call up the IRS tell them this and that and you're gonna receive no I ain't no scammer baby I don't even know that's what scammers do, okay? The reason why or how I came up from $7 in my account to now having commas in my bank account. And even if it's just a comma, bitch, it's a come up, okay? Come up. It's a come up to me. And it matters to me. And it's a big deal to me because I, once upon a time, didn't even think that it was possible. I'm not a material person. Money doesn't buy you happiness. But... It speaks volumes for me you know what i'm saying because i can be broke and be happy as fuck trust me been there done that i'm just at a point in life you guys where i know what i deserve i want everything that i deserve i'm coming for everything that i deserve and everything that i deserve is coming okay i told myself i'm not paying a 500 car payment for nokia that don't do shit but drive drive park reverse play the radio that's it okay the seats ain't warm up the sunroof ain't go down i said i'm not doing it i wanted something bigger and better because i love to travel and when i do travel i want to be comfortable and i wanted an suv and what do i have a brand new suv even my daddy and my daddy's never the one to try to put me down my daddy supports me in everything that i do but I, sometimes he's the one you know to be more realistic with me and my daddy was one time trying to tell me like jay you're not saying it in a bad way but like saying i just don't see how you can get a brand new car right now he said not right now i said yes right now i said that's what i deserve 
I said I'm not selling anything else and I think that also played a part in me getting that car because I was not willing to settle if I had to of course I would because I'm not no spoiled brat I'm spoiled but I'm not a spoiled bitchy brat okay let's just be honest I'm not spoiled bitchy and bratty all at the same time it's 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 levels and it's separation and all of that but I am so happy. This is the happiest I've ever been in my. I'm not gonna say the happiest I've ever been in my life, but it's been it's been a long time since I've been happy. Like I'm over a hundred pounds. Oh my gosh, it took me forever to get back to being over a hundred pounds. And is every day a, a good day? Hell no. I'm still human. At the end of the day, I'm still human, you guys. I still have people that's in my corner that is gonna keep it real with me, check me when I need to be checked, you know, keep me together, and just all all the good shit, you guys. And I'm not tr trying to make this video super duper duper long. I just wanna say that no matter what you're going through, whatever it is that you're going through, just believe that you will get through it. You have to know it. You have to be doing stuff for you. Stop doing stuff for people that won't even do half the shit for you. Or even if they would do half the shit for you, your happiness matter. Two, not more, but two, okay? I know sometimes we are just those people that's like, I just love to cater to people and I can't help it and I can't, well, you need to cater to you too, boo. I, like, for real, for real. And that's really all I wanted to say before I not answer this question. So again, to answer Brianna Nicole's question, baby, it feels amazing. It feels amazing because I'm not doing anything to shit on nobody. I'm trying to shit on myself, okay? I'm not doing anything to look a certain type of way. I'm not going out of my way, you know, to collab with this person and collab with that person. Like I said, collabs are, are good, but I can do bad all by myself, you know what I'm saying? And that's the beauty of everything to me like I, I never am in need of nobody and i came from a place of being very like I, I went from being independent as fuck okay so independent that i moved out from my daddy crib went to go stay with my uncle moved out from them went to go stay with my best friend put myself in college you know what i'm saying it didn't work out with my roommates um but i didn't have too much pride to go back to my dad to build our relationship from ground okay build a relationship that was all the way in the sky to tear it down to the ground to build it right back up you know what i'm saying i was i've been very independent and then i got to a point of just being dependent always the de oh my god i can't believe how dependent i was not independent but how dependent i was to now i'm back to having my independence and that what matters the most to me you know what i'm saying being um the queen that I am today and you know you always get people that tell you things that you already know like you know you're a queen and you know that you're beautiful or you know that you're gonna be big one day but none of that stuff matters if you don't believe it within yourself so I had to start I had to start looking myself in the mirror and really checking myself I cried a lot oh my god i cried a lot okay i cried a lot i've had some i've had a lot of lonely nights lonely like not like a partner type thing like not letting family in not letting you know friends in not reaching out to nobody not speaking on stuff i'm happy i'm blessed i'm also grateful and I hope that you enjoyed this video you know what i'm saying i hope that you guys were able to get some type of message out of this video that you can apply it to your situation whatever you may be whatever you may be going through and um i actually gotta start getting ready for work i'm not sure if you're gonna get this video today like literally before the sun goes down you might get it when the sun go down but whenever you do get this video, please, you guys, make sure you leave some feedback. Put your comments down below. Like this video. Share my content. 
double check yourself and make sure that your bell is turned off for all post notifications subscribe to all of my youtube channel you guys this is not my only youtube channel i have two other youtube channels i have a fitness channel and i have a reaction channel and i get questions all the time like why i have a reaction channel when i react on this channel because this channel is made for any and everything any and everything that i want to do is going on this channel but on my reaction channel which I am like 50 subs away from hitting a thousand subscribers so please help me hit a thousand subscribers on my reaction channel and I promise you you will receive lit reaction videos on both of them that one and this one um but yeah I hope you guys have a great day a blessed day be safe I love you you already know the vibes with me big period and I'm signing out to the next video peace nah I ain't conceited I'm a different breed it catch you slipping best belief I don't need no reason I'ma cut the ties ho turn your wife to my hoe just focus on you baby girl <laughs> J vibes you know the vibes you know the fuck going on and I'm at this bitch